continue. Okay, and here's the purpose. Uh, state the purpose of your presentation. For example, today I would like to present our new product. Okay, very good. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. then we have mm -hmm. the questions. Yeah, state how you want to deal with questions. For example, I will enter 10 questions after my presentation. Yes, okay, that's very important also. Okay, stating when you want to entertain questions. So that's yeah. what does it mean everybody enter, enter 10? Okay, entertain uh, here in this sentence, entertain would mean I will answer questions after my presentation. Or we can say I will listen and answer questions after uh -huh. my presentation. Uh huh. Okay, so okay. it's like if you have a guest at your company, okay, you have to go to the elevator and then bring him into the office, give him something to drink. Okay, that is entertaining a person, a guest. Okay, so with uh -huh, questions, yes. it's also the same. You listen and you answer the questions that's entertaining questions oh okay, mm -hmm. okay. sometimes I, we just say answer <laughs> yeah okay well uh this is to help us broaden our vocabulary <laughs> oh yes uh -huh. entertain okay. yeah. any questions uh i, I think uh for the uh question uh some sometimes uh, I uh, if I am I'm not uh, comfortable uh, about the presentation. Uh, sometimes I will just uh, you know to shorten the time uh, for my guest uh, to ask a questions. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can do that sometimes. <laughs> okay, uh, last questions. Okay, no more questions. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even have to wait. Okay, any questions? Last questions? No more? Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and the, sometimes, uh, you know, if uh, if the uh, guest, uh, you know, they they found uh, some uh, some weakness in your presentation, and then they ask you a question, and unfortunately you can you you don't know how to. Uh, how to answer uh, answer them the question very well. So you know there will uh, 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 you know uh, more question like that will happen. So yes, it's very terrible. Possible. You have you have to stop them uh, very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It happens to everybody. Even well, I can say it also happens to me sometimes when I'm teaching. Okay, I ask questions. Do you have any other questions? And then they ask something difficult. Okay. What I do is, uh, well, this would be easy, okay, so this is like sharing a secret here. Hmm, should I or shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like uh, when you are giving a presentation and if they, for example, you tell them, okay, you can ask questions while I'm doing the presentation, okay, so let's say first part of the, pre excuse me, first part of the presentation, you ask them any questions and they ask you something difficult. Okay, and you think for a couple of seconds, and you can say, "Okay, that's a very, very good question." Okay, and we'll get back to this question right after we talk about this. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you go on to the next part of your presentation while thinking how to answer that question. Uh huh. Oh. Uh. Questions. Uh, I think was sometimes uh, if. I have to uh, use uh, English uh, mm -hmm. for presentation. Uh, I think it it will be more uh, terrible. <laughs> yeah, because I, I most of the time I just use the Chinese. I think it's okay. But if I have to use English in the presentation, mm -hmm. oh, it's not a good uh, experience. <laughs> so, do you? Uh, do you normally present in Chinese or English? Um, most of the time, I use the ch I just use Chinese. Yeah. Okay, so but when no, do you sometimes? Yeah. Mm. When do you present in English then? Uh, sometimes if if 
I have uh, some uh, f uh, foreign uh, customers uh, from the you know the maybe the the, the, the American uh, company in investment uh, yeah. investment bankers something like that or from Europe or even uh -huh. from the Sing the uh, Singapore India. Singapore. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so <clears throat> yeah, maybe just the one, one, one person, or maybe one or two person. Yeah, I have to use the uh, uh, English. Yeah, so you know, it's very make me more okay. nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, for me, uh, usually, okay, like I, I can speak Chinese, but my Chinese is bad, really bad. Uh, I can communicate um. simply with simple words like. Have you had lunch? Like those simple words, but if, like if I'm going to teach Chinese or if I'm going to present speaking in Chinese, I can't do that. Uh -huh. So what I do is I tell the person straightforward that uh, you have to forgive me. My Chinese is bad. Okay, so if I make mistakes, you have to forgive me. And I say it like a joke. <laughs> You have to forgive me. My Chinese is really bad. Okay, uh -huh. <laughs> I I say it that way, and i my face is not serious. I said with with a smile. My face, my Chinese is really bad, so you have to forgive me. Okay, then I continue. Uh -huh. That's oh, when yeah. uh when I'm talking with somebody. Well, it really depends on your uh listeners. Mm -hmm. So you would know your uh, clients more or your visitors more. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, yeah. of course this is business, so this is kind of you have to be formal sometimes. Okay, mm -hmm. and you have to be very careful with the words you use. For example, if you're speaking in English, you can mm -hmm. you can let them know. I'm sure they know, but saying it again won't hurt anybody. That's okay, and sometimes makes everybody relax more. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh -huh. because I'm sure you will be very very tense. Oh no, I'm gonna talk to, speak to them in English. How am I gonna do this? Okay, it makes you relax, and maybe after the presentation you would find, hey, no problem. <laughs> okay, once you get used to it, you see, like right now you're speaking in English, no problem. Yeah, I, I remember there is a one one uh, uh, seminar I I speak to around the uh, around the maybe twenty or thirty guests, and uh, maybe just a Five or ten of them uh, uh, are foreigners, so I have to use uh, English to you know to just let them understand the, the whole speech. Uh, so it's terrible. So <coughs> after the presentation, uh, they, they just uh, feel very interested uh, about my uh, topics. So they just ask me uh, some some foreign guests ask me one question: Can I have your phone number? Well, terrible. I